guys, welcome back to Sweetie Pie Pets. Today we're gonna do an update on Lilo's puppies. They are two weeks old today, and oh my gosh, look how cute they are. So here is little Maui. He's the boy. And you can see that his hair is starting to really come in a little bit longer. I mean, you don't really notice it when you're just looking, but when you start to pet him and run, especially when you run your fingers against the grain, it really does, you know, you can tell that it's a lot longer than it was just last week. And they're starting to open their eyes. Well, hello to the world. Big yawn. So at age two weeks, um, as you can see, their eyes have started to open. They still don't really, use their eyes a lot they're kind of i don't think that they are fully developed it's kind of like a newborn baby when they're first born you can see their eyes but they don't really use their eyes yet older he gets and the more he develops then he'll start to really open his eyes and look around a lot more but for right now he's still kind of a little bit of a slug but a slug with slightly more features so this is little maui and he's so cute maui are you so cute hi and we also have little moana Hi, Moana. Can you say hello to the world? So even though their eyes are open, um, I still can't really tell exactly what color they're going to be. Again, it's very similar to the way a newborn baby is. A lot of times when babies are born, they all sort of have a deep, dark blue eye. You might think that, oh my goodness, they're gonna have blue eyes. As their eyes start to develop, then the true color starts to really come out and you can see whether or not they're gonna be brown or blue. But we don't really care about eye color as much as eyes that work. That's really the important thing, right, sweetie girl? Now the other thing that you might notice is that they are starting to get pigment in the skin around their muzzle and their nose. So when they're first born, they all have pink noses. They're just pink. But usually their noses don't stay pink. Usually the pigment will kind of start to look like little freckles at first and then it will get bigger and bigger and it'll fill in. And then their noses will either be black or brown. What color is your nose gonna be, Maui? It looks to me like Maui is starting to get black pigment on his nose, so I think he's gonna have a black nose. And little Moana's nose only has one tiny, tiny dot, and it looks to me like it's brown, so I think she's gonna have a brown nose. Are you a brown noser? Now, they're still kind of slugs because they really just crawl around on their belly. They're still not able to get up and walk around or like sit the way that you would think of a dog. So it's kind of similar to like a newborn baby that hasn't yet learned to walk. They're just sort of crawling around on their bellies. Can you guys crawl? They still make little squeaky noises and they're starting to kind of be a little more aware of their surroundings. Still not completely. For the most part, they don't even notice what's going on around them, but they're starting to be able to use their senses a little more and they definitely like to cuddle. So you guys might have remembered when they were first born, their ears were pretty much smashed down to their head. Um, sometimes they're smashed backwards against their the back of their head, but like their eyes, their ears are also sealed closed. And around age two weeks, just like their eyes, their ears start to slowly open. So at this point, they're kind of starting to be more aware of their surroundings because they're gonna be able to hear and start to see things more. They can start paying attention to their senses and see what's going on in this big world around them. What are you gonna do? So the comment of the week comes from Lee Ying. She wants to know, how do you tell the difference between a girl and a boy? Ooh, that's a good question. So let's talk about that. So let's look at the little boy first. So this is Maui. And as you can see, now he has a little bump on his belly. That's a good way to say it. Boys have a bump on their belly. And then we have little Moana. Moana doesn't have a bump on her belly. Moana is a girl and she has jewels in her groin. <laughs> <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? I, I don't know. It's This is a G-rated channel, but you do want to be able to tell the difference between a girl and a boy, right? So, boys have a bump on their belly and girls have a jewel in their groin. So that's actually not an uncommon question. Even my own husband says that he has a hard time telling the difference between a girl and a boy because they both just kind of have a bump, but it's just that the boy's bump is up higher on their belly. Just remember, boys have a bump on their belly. I also wanted to show you guys something so cool. You guys all know that these guys live at my affiliate Carol's house and Carol is doing a really good job being a mommy and taking care of them just like she did last time with Crystal. And look what Carol made. She made each of them their own little blankie. Now, Carol is obviously a better seamstress than I am because look how pretty. So there's a blue one, 
for little Maui. And then there's one with the pink border for little Moana. So obviously when these guys are old enough, they will go to their forever homes with their little blankies. Thank you, Carol, for making them blankies and for giving them lots of love. So for right now, the babies still spend most of their time sleeping. They will get a little exercise by crawling around on their belly. And of course, it is very, very important that they still get daily human interaction and love so that they can learn to grow up and be wonderful, loving pets forever. Hey, don't you guys have to learn how to trust humans? So by age two weeks, Mommy Lilo does start to spend a little bit less time with her puppies. When they're first born, she pretty much sleeps in there with them all the time and never leaves their side. I've had some mommies who won't even go out to go to the bathroom or eat or anything. I have to like try to give them food in the bed so that they'll just eat some food. But by two weeks, the puppies can go a little bit longer in between feedings because when they do get a feeding, they eat a lot faster. You know, the feedings don't have to be as often. So Mommy Lilo is starting to spend a little more time away from her babies. That's good for Mama Carol because that means she can hold the babies more right? Okay, so some of you guys might be wondering at this age, would they be able to eat dog food or human food or anything other than mommy's milk? And would they survive without mommy? And the answer is no, they don't have any teeth yet. They're not going to get any teeth until about age four weeks. So they cannot eat anything other than milk. They really need mommy's milk. Now, unfortunately, sometimes something happens to mommy and she wouldn't be able to nurse them. And in that case, they would actually have to be bottle fed until they're old enough to start being able to eat solid food on their own. Now I have heard some people insist that you should never pick up a puppy at this age and hold it because then the mommy is gonna smell the human scent and then reject. That has not been my experience at all. And in fact, I would say it's quite the opposite. As long as you're giving them positive and loving interactions, it's a good thing for, for them to be smelling humans and to know that good things come from human hands and that humans are somebody to be trusted and they shouldn't be afraid. And hopefully mommy should know that too. And I've never had a mommy one reject its puppy after it was held. So by age two weeks, I could start weighing them. Um, you can see they've actually grown a lot since just last week. Uh, when they're first born, their growth is crazy and then it slows as they get a little bit older. But um, right when they're newborn, they grow a lot. I still wouldn't really start to weigh them right now and, and chart them out in, as far as what I expect them to reach in their adult life because they're just kind of a little bit young. I usually start doing that around age four weeks, but even then it's really not that accurate because it just depends on how many babies there are in the litter, how much they're eating and that all that kind of stuff affects how fat they are and how much they weigh and you can't really start to determine how much they're predicted to weigh until they're actually at like an optimum weight which happens when they start getting more exercise so once they start walking around and getting more exercise then they will probably get down to what their optimum weight should be and then we can more accurately predict their adult weight I love it when they yawn. It's just the cutest thing ever. So right now, since they're just barely starting to be more aware of their surroundings, their eyes and ears are starting to open up. So their senses are becoming more in tune with their surroundings and what's happening. I like to let them smell me a lot and smell different things and, you know, just kind of start to see what's happening in the world. Maybe by next week, if I had them smell some food or something, they might actually sniff it and you would see them being interested in it. Doesn't mean that you would want them to try to eat anything because they're still not gonna have any teeth, but at least you would notice them really starting to be more aware of their surroundings and pay more attention. By the way, if any of you are wondering, it's not mean to hold them like this, but it's actually a good thing to teach them to trust human hands to hold them upside down because it's a trust exercise. Little Moana, she doesn't have any bump on her belly. They do have a little belly button just like humans, but it's not exactly the same. It doesn't stick in or out like human belly buttons usually. Usually it just looks like a little scar. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and staying tuned to get their two week update. Please don't forget to come back next week to see what they're like at three weeks. And as always, please, if you like my video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time on Sweetie Pie Pets. Bye-bye. Hey, bye-bye. We'll see you guys next week. They're gonna grow and be way bigger.